safe once you reach the village of Tours, but you Wait. must cross the river immediately. Our friends there will help you. Please come with us, Axel. You can't stay here. I can't leave my people. Right. Father. Take care of my boy. Go on. Axel. them alive. The one we want is among them. You've gained nothing by capturing me. You'll never stamp out the hate that surrounds you. The contempt you see in my eyes is written on the hearts of my people. Axel. I assure you that you'll beg me to kill you. Then I shall read what your eyes have to say. You, you Spartan pig! Ooh. 
I want everyone to see what happens to those who dare oppose my will. Riverio, if you'll allow me, I'm afraid I have to tell you that... I know. Your mercenaries want double pay. Well, they'll have it. But first, take care of Axel. You know what you have to do. Riverio, we'd like a word with you. Oh, really? And what is it now? Well, we, we feel that the Macedonian mercenaries have become too heavy on expense, and that their presence here causes unrest. And what would you suggest? To recruit soldiers among the people? So they can revolt against me? No, but Sparta can come to your aid with its army, should you need Sparta her. has enough to contend with. They may be ruler of this state. But the Spartans are not about to lend me troops while fighting in Persia. And besides, I am not in need of your advice. You seem to forget that were it not for me, your noble friends would have been wiped out by the rebels. I must see Riberio. Riberio, excuse me, but am I your guest here in the palace or your prisoner? Well, that is all. Since you have captured my heart, it is I who am the prisoner. You held me here saying that it was too risky for me to travel. But if the rebels are no longer a threat, then why should I remain? For me, but not as my guest as my queen. Oh, that's interesting. Are you making a formal proposal? When I propose something, it is never questioned. Oh, really? You can never tell. There's a ring of challenge in your words. But remember, I am not accustomed to losing. I can't give you those. They're political prisoners. We'll have to go on the other side. Now I'm warning you, you'll be up against the worst criminals in these mines. Oh. Easy now. Easy. Get to the right. That's it. Everyone, what are you doing? He was just trying to show me his gratitude. You be the judge, huh? Once I saved the young slob while he was drowning. And now he wants to be helpful. That's fair. What's your name? The name is Cottam, and I'm a good sailor, too. Don't you believe him? He loaded the ships by day and unloaded them by night. I would never do that. I'm really innocent. Of course you are. I suppose you're innocent also. Uh, the boy can't talk. He's a mute. His name is Golar, sir. I think they'll work out fine. I'll buy them both. You. What's your name? What's yours? He's Luzar, a ruthless thief. That's not true. My ransom is low. I'm here because of a few miserable jewels. Why do you accuse the jewels? It was their fault. Then, of course, you're innocent. Yeah. I'm innocent, too. You see, it all happened because of the name. My name is Rubio. I'm the victim. I'm the victim of a fatal coincidence. Stand back. Very well. I'll buy them also. Buy me, too. If you take me away from this misery, I'll be your loyal slave for the rest of my life. What can you do? Everything. Anything you ask. I'm an acrobat, but I can also work. Excellent. Him along with the other four. They'll come with me. But you can't take them without an escort. I paid. You'll do as I say. At your risk. Wait for me at the Macedonians' camp. I'll bring them there. And you'll have your money there. <laughs>
Where's Ari? In the village. Go away, now go. You mustn't give up hope. Get back! Get back there! Have her followed. I want to know where she goes. Here, in front of all the rabble you tried to instigate against me, and against the legitimate government of this state. Here, so that all may witness the destiny of those who oppose my will, you will die a slow death of thirst and starvation. Watch behind the ears. There's plenty of time. I have a proposition. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself, so listen carefully. I didn't buy you to be my slaves, but my collaborators. You have a chance to gain your freedom if you help me with a certain matter. I may even guarantee it, so long as you don't get any strange ideas. You take off the chains? That's right. And then after you have helped me to carry out my plans successfully, I will free you from the bondage of slavery. You have my word. I also promise to give you some money to start a new life. But no tricks, eh? Because if you do get any strange ideas, I wouldn't hesitate at all in sending you back to the mines. Is that clear? <coughs> As I was saying, you have everything to gain if you go along with me. <laughs> sent out a battalion. They're covering every route of escape. Axel has the people's protection. First they helped him to escape, and now they'll make certain he's not found. If the people haven't learned to fear me, I'll teach them. It'll be a lesson they'll not forget. And now get out. Don't stand there. Get out. No. 
I want you to remain. I'm afraid you've terrorized them. Hmm. It's the only way to govern this city. I can't trust anyone. Not even me. I'm not so sure. You're in love with wealth. And that is not a sentiment that speaks of loyalty. Well, my friends, my brother and I thank you. You are free now. You can go wherever you wish. You couldn't have arrived in a better moment. Where have you been all these years? You know, I never thought you'd come back again. Did you think I was nailed to the oars of some galley? That's the way you'll end up, if you don't change your way of life. <laughs> Adventure, money, love. That's my way of life, and I wouldn't change it for anything. One day you'll find the right woman. Then you'll change your mind. I'd found her once, but I was afraid, and I ran away. You know, one would never think that you and Axel are brothers. That's because my brother is an idealist. And you're the outcast you've always been. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? I told you you were free. Why don't you go? Yes, but we've decided to stay with you. Mm -hmm. With me? Are you crazy? <laughs> no, no. Everyone goes his own way and takes care of himself. We've never been accustomed to so much liberty. And you know we have no home to go to. And we can always help you to get in or out of trouble. Nothing doing. If you're looking for a leader, talk to my brother there. He needs men who can help him fight. You know why I'm fighting. I've always had honest men on my side. Hey, is that your way of being grateful? <laughs>
Leslie. Leslie, oh, it's you. Axel. You're both together now. You made me happy. I... Where do you think you're going? Have you got out of your mind? You want to get yourself killed? Let me go! No, I won't let you go! Let me go! Listen to me! Said. You have a son up there who needs you now more than ever! They killed our mother! Don't you think I know that? What do you expect to do? Go to Rabirio and ask him to have himself killed? No. We'll have our revenge, but in my way. Even if I have to nail you to these rocks. Where are the others? I don't know. I think they went to look for something to eat. New invention. You strike the enemy, and then you pull it back. You don't believe me? I'll prove it. You'll regret this. Rabirio will know of this outrage. Oh, so you know Rabirio? No, but he's waiting for me. Why are you going to see him? You're not a military aide, nor an ambassador. It's too disagreeable. Who are you? Now listen to me, old man. If I don't slice your tongue out, it's because you still have to talk. But if you need any convincing, I can always pull your nails out one by one. Don't you dare! It's the head of a great artist. Let's go! <laughs> I'm the architect Pinuncio of Athens. I'm to build a new villa for Rabirio. It's true. These designs are for a villa. But, they, but they're not very clear. <laughs> the experts. I know about <laughs> these things. Here. I tell you, these plans make no sense at all. <laughs> well, he seems to have spared no expense. These are the gardens. Fountains, 
And what are these over here? They're underground passages. They will be known only to Riverio. And no one else, especially not the thieves such as you. <laughs> Why not let me question him? We're old friends. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my poor foot. I'll never be able to walk again. Don't worry, I'll straighten it out while you sing. Practicing useless oh. torture, is that your way? Perhaps it wasn't useless after all. The architect for Nuncio asked to be received. Have him come in. Remain here, we'll continue in a moment. I beg you forgive this for our delay, O oh Great Revere, but unfortunately we were assaulted by ruffians. There were at least a hundred of them. A hundred of them? Yes, even more. They came from all sides. Swarms of thieves materialized out of thin air, carried away our escort, and stole our goods. Well then, how did you escape? Oh, they had no use for the likes of me, a humble architect. They only found pleasure and satisfaction in insulting my person. And then, as for the rest, well... For the rest of what? When they learned that I was to be received by you, I was told to convey a message that concerns your heritage, which I cannot repeat. But aren't you aware of their sentiments? As they are aware of mine. Perhaps you are anxious now to go over the wonderful plans I have created for your village. No, no, not now. I prefer you discuss the matter with my architect. Your architect? Exactly. I want you to teach them the art of constructing a villa, such as can be found only in Athens. That's why you're here. Lydia. Come, come, Lydia. I want you to meet one of Athens' greatest architects, Panuncio. Panuncio? You've already met. Oh, yes. I had constructed a villa for her father. But alas, to my great sorrow, I heard of its destruction. Wars destroy all, and without compassion for what is sacred, tumble down the hallowed walls, the sanctuary that is a man's home. But I am consoled of such grief in seeing that you were spared, O oh noble Lydia. Yes, thank you. Is he to build your new villa? If Panuncio's art meets with your approval, it will be our villa, Lydia. I only await your decision. I've decided. If I'm not mistaken, I take it Lydia will be your future bride. Yes. Then let me be the first to congratulate you. In that case, I will ask Lydia for some suggestions concerning the villa. I find that a woman's touch is indispensable in such matters. Shall we visit the building site now? No, the two of you can discuss the project. I have many matters to attend to. Shall we continue? Welcome to the building site, Peninsula. We are Riberio's architects. I'm very pleased indeed. Here are my drawings. Read them, look them over, learn what you can, but not here. Hey, be careful with those papers. And make sure we get them back right away. Now I'm really quite interested in hearing your ideas, if you have any. Instead, I'd like to know exactly what you're doing here. Now, now. Is that any way to welcome me after all these years? I wasn't hoping you'd come back. Why? There's no danger of your falling in love again. 
Or is there? I learned my lesson once with a man who couldn't be trusted. Well, if you don't go for that type, what about Rabirio then? I always wanted to have a feeling of security. And I won't renounce to it now. And I have no intention of standing in your way. Then don't drag me into your game of deception. Either you leave immediately or otherwise I'll... Otherwise what? You'll tell Rabirio the truth? Will you also tell him of the beautiful villa that existed only in the dreams of a hopeless drunk such as your... And that you would have died a slave had I not freed you? No. I don't think Rabirio would enjoy learning the truth about his future queen. The entrance to the last villa that we built had two solid gold columns like that. Gold? Why not? Anuncio, my master, never worries about cost. Hey, what's the matter? Don't you think that Rabirio can afford such splendor? As far as that goes, there's plenty of gold if you squeeze the people. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you know, tomorrow we start collecting taxes with the village. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have to cover the outer territory. It's Kadra. Kadra? Squeeze more taxes from the people. Hurry it up now!
<laughs> Axel? Here. You can have my share. Perhaps you'll know how to make better use of it. You mean you're giving up this gold in favor of the people? Well, let's say that now that I know Riverio and his mercenaries, I'm beginning to understand much better. Boxo, let's go before we're missed at the palace. your mercenaries. They're not even able to collect the taxes for us. Well, you have no cause to blame me, because it's the rebels who are to blame. These are the taxes collected here in the city, and no more. But I'm not going out into the villages without receiving double pay. And you'll get it. But I won't put up with these discussions. Hmm. 
Put it where it belongs. Come, Nikasa. I think we'll soon have the rebels in our grip. They're being followed, and I should know their hideout by tonight. It's thanks to me, you'll finally have a chance to get even with the rebels. Rabirio! Rabirio! I do hope you will forgive the intrusion of this humble servant, O oh great Rabirio, but I need your infallible opinion on matters concerning the villa. Amazing. You keep asking for my opinions, but you're still at ground level. Well, uh, but that's my method, Rabirio. It's best to be prepared for the unforeseen, thus avoiding sad mistakes. Very wise. I'm also of the same opinion. Let's go and see how far you've gotten. <laughs> Not at all satisfied with the project. You'll have to design something completely new. As you wish. But it'll take quite some time. What do you feel is wrong with the project? I just don't believe it was designed by him. That is, it doesn't strike me as being worthy of Pannunzio's ability. I want a villa like the one you did in Athens for Chironi. Do you recall it? Chironi? Chironi. I don't quite remember. You see, I've designed so many villas that it's almost in... It doesn't matter. I'm sure you'll remember. Besides, I'm in no hurry. And neither are you. Isn't that so, Lydia? Of course not. Although you did say that you wanted the villa ready for our wedding day. Our wedding will take place, my dear, as soon as I've eliminated Axel and his rebels. Yes, what is it? Well? Rabirio's greatest strength lies in his gold. Without it, he's powerless. Of course. Without his gold, 
He would never be able to hold on to Nakasser and his mercenaries. While if we had it, we could arm the people against Rabirio. You can do that with your share of the gold, not lose ours. One half of the booty will be divided among you. After that, we'll separate forever. What's your plan? It won't be easy. There are two guards blocking the entrance. And then we'd have to break down the door. They change the guard after dawn. And don't worry about the door. Rubio will take care of that. Assuming that we can get into the palace, how are we going to carry out all those coffers? In fact, that's the most difficult part. From the tower, it's a sheer drop into the sea. And there's no other exit. We have an architect here. Maybe he can help us. Of course he can help us, the dried up old goat. And especially when my welfare is at stake. It was then that I said to myself, if only I could hook up an enormous tank of water on a cart with four wheels, heat the water in the tank, then funnel all the steam from the boiling water to the wheels of the cart, the cart goes by itself. <laughs> it's completely idiotic. Because to run your little cart, you'd have to connect it up to at least an ocean of water. You're right. I didn't think of that. And this. You know how it works? With this, I can wipe out a whole army. Now watch. Are you crazy? <laughs> it's my newest invention. <laughs> Ah, Panuncio, we may need your help. But first of all, I'd like to know if you ever constructed a villa for a certain uh, Chironi in Athens. Chironi? No, I've never heard of the name. I thought so. Is there anything wrong? Huh? No. By the way, we happen to find out where Rabirio hides all his gold. <laughs> but there are a, a few technical matters we need your advice on. That is, if you're willing to help us. No, never. Oh? So you didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. Hmm? Everything's quiet. At least I hope so. What do you mean? What are you afraid of? I think Rubiri is beginning to suspect. When he asked about Kironi, he was obviously trying to trip me up. And I'm not so sure he swallowed my answer. And what now? Hmm? Nothing. We'll go ahead as we planned. Except that I won't come with you. If Rubiri is suspicious, then I'd better remain here with him. And afterwards? <laughs> afterwards, I'll take care of myself. Uh, you go on as if I weren't here. into that cat before you walked over it. <laughs> Their hideout overlooks the Gorge of the Eagle. I followed them all the way out and back again, but I lost their tracks when I got here in it the It doesn't city. matter. I know who they are. You will be led to the hideout. Attack only in the heart of night. We must take them by surprise. And remember, don't underestimate them.
course, Leslie. He's busy with Roberio. He said to go ahead as planned. Hey, where's Cottom? He's on the raft. found out you were here, it was already too late to turn back. And my magnificent wedding is thrown to the four winds because a vagabond found the cause of liberty was his newest ideal. But please, Lydia, try to understand this. If Roberia is caught under me, he'll suspect you as well. You must come away with me. There's no time to lose. And where would you take me? How could I trust you if you never cared once whether I were dead or alive? What difference does it all make now? The moment I saw you together with Roberio, I realized just how much I loved you. And that I never loved anyone else. This sentimentality will be the ruin of both of us. Come, you must go now and meet me at the Gorge of the Eel. You're staying here? I have to. There are still a few things to attend to. But don't worry, Lydia. I won't be long. I didn't know you were going away. Or should I say, running away? I never run away. Why should I? Although I'm tired of waiting for a false promise, I'm not so sure now that I want to get married. You won't live long enough to marry a beggar. Your little game is over. Why, that's ridiculous. You know very well that man is not the architect Panuzio. Did you think you could fool me? I saw him leave your room, and just now you were trying to escape with him, weren't you? Answer me! Yes, escape from you and the hate that surrounds this miserable palace. I'd rather die than be with you. I'm sincerely moved by such sentiment. Yours is a love that only death can dissolve. Since that is your wish, you will be satisfied very soon. Why, it's almost bedtime. What could a Riverio want at this hour of the night? It's a beautiful night. The moon is high. Shall we go?
there. Bravo. Bravo indeed. But don't you find this rather a strange hour of the night for such exhibition? Not at all. Especially if you consider that my enemies always move in the heart of night. But this time, they will not catch me unprepared. <laughs> I'm boring you. Such matters are of no interest at all to an architect. Isn't that so? You know, my great Rivero, I've always suspected that you were not very intelligent. It's quite obvious that you know that I'm not Panunzio. But didn't you think that I would foresee your making this discovery? How long shall we keep up the farce? Then why did you return? You warned Axel and the others. Talk! <coughs> Talk or I'll kill you! Talk! Calm yourself, Rabirio. You're upset. I know that being a tyrant is a rather nasty job. But you shouldn't lose control of yourself. You'll soon regret your little joke. Where are Axel and his men? Now I'm afraid you're the one who's joking. You don't really think I'd tell you, or do you? Uh, even a tyrant knows how to control his nerves. And by his time. Time up in his room and keep him under guard. If for any reason my plan do not go as I expect them to. I know just how to make people obey. Perhaps. But I'm convinced that things will go as I expect them to. We can't fight them alone. It's best if we surrender. No! You've got to hide. There. If I surrender, there's a chance you'll be saved. Courage, boy. Once they've gone away, you can warn your father and the others. And as for me, I won't talk. Saving whose life? Panuncio the architect. They were holding me prisoner. The architect Panuncio? Or where are the others? They ran away. They left the camp last night. I heard them say they were going over the frontier. They left me all alone in this wilderness. I was beginning to give up hope. Thank you. You repeat this to Riverio. I'm sure he'll want to meet you. Time passes, eh? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's take this one. Just as I expected. It's a good thing I put rocks inside. Hmm? Well, you always miss the first try. <laughs> <laughs> All we need is to raise our sights a little. Come on. Go. Change guards. Yeah, help me with the oil. Let's go. Uh, 
And who is he? I wouldn't know. Probably some little thief who was trying to get into the hideout. What's your name? What's your name, I said? Go ahead. Kill me. My father will avenge me. Your father? Roberio. Roberio. The gold. It's all gone. I don't know how, but they broke into the treasury and took everything away. That's where they were. You must reach the hideout before they do. With the gold, they can't move very fast. I'm sure that's where they're headed for. You're right. Like the whole battalion. They probably captured them. Let's hope so. Because if they're only captured, it means they're not dead yet. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Come here. 
It's Rubio's invention. He almost killed us with it. Remember? Will it work? I hope so. Archers! thing we do. There must be a way of getting in. It's impossible. There are at least a hundred guards surrounding the place. We'd never be able to get through their defense. I've been trying to convince them it's sheer insanity. We're going for my son and for Lydia. The rest of you will have nothing to do with it. You mean just the two of you are going? Yes. Well, it's crazy. Perhaps. That's exactly why we're going alone. I'll come with you. No, Boxo. We agreed that after seizing Roberio's treasury, each one of us would go his own way. And the agreement still holds. You go your way, we'll go ours. Good luck, Boxo. There is something you can do, and I'm sure it will be a pleasure. Get rid of this animal. I still could be useful to you and help you save your son. All my mercenaries are good fighters. I don't trust you or your assassins. Kill him. No, Axel. He's no good to us dead, but alive he may be useful. this time. Maybe the rebels escaped him. Even if the rebels escape, they know that Lydia and Ario are in my hands. And they're fools enough to try anything to free them. Please excuse me if I keep you waiting. But I'm expecting some distinguished guests, such as your Leslie. You and I together, flanked by the palace guards. One might think that it's our wedding ceremony. Rabirio, come! Look, they just entered the valley. There's seven of them. They're not fools enough to try and attack. I wouldn't trust those rebels if I were you. We'll see about that.
to park. Why? Where do you plan going? As a matter of fact, I like this place. I may even consider settling down and find some work. You work? <laughs> Why not? In that case, you'll have to double the guard. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 